I wasn't advocating for a shutdown. President Obama decided he wanted to shut down the government. We passed numerous uh, f spending bills and budgets. And we sent them to the president. He chose not to sign them. And that's where, why we came to that point. Uh, so we did not shut the government down. The president said that he would not sign those bills. So just to clarify, it's another fiction that um, the Madison Avenue Press has been able to put out. Now on your bullying question, this is a very key point. And I don't back off from that comment whatsoever because the bill that we're talking about is a religious freedom bill. It was passed originally at the federal level in 1993. It was passed unanimously in the House of Representatives. There are 435 members of the House of Representatives. That's an amazing vote, 435. It passed 97 to 3 in the United States Senate. And it was signed by President Bill Clinton, a Democrat and also a graduate of Oxford University. So that's the Religious Freedom Amendment. And the purpose was to make sure that all Americans can enjoy what we prize is our First Amendment right to freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of association, and freedom of, of religion, religious expression. And it isn't just thought, it's also religious action. How do I know that? The author of our United States Congress is our President James Madison. And I was just at the United States uh, Library of Congress this week. I saw the document this week where, Adam, where, where Madison wrote by hand with his quill pen, he wrote out the, the amendment and it was his amendment to the language that ultimately became the First Amendment. Originally the language said full toleration. He crossed that out for religious liberty. He changed it to freedom of speech and expression. In other words, not just thought, but the freedom to express, to act out on what your religious beliefs are. Now this is why this is key. Religious belief and expression is a constitutional right. You don't bargain those away. You can't bargain it away. It is like, it is like, it is the ultimate law of the land in the United States, our constitution. And so my first amendment rights and your first amendment rights, which Oxford Union is the premier organization, the first of its kind ever in the annals of man to protect the sacred right of freedom of speech. I think it's worth something, don't you? You're in it. And so that's why you're not coming over something as nominal like a shutdown, which isn't what we did anyway. This is dealing with, this is, this, these are groups that want to take their issue and claim that we should give up our religious freedom of speech and expression because they believe that it will interfere, in, in other words, the gay community with what their objectives are. I say no group should be powerful enough to take away from any American their First Amendment right to freedom of speech and expression and religious liberty rights. And in the case of Arizona, what they were trying to do, to go just a little bit deeper in the weeds, um, was the concept of if you are a baker and a gay couple comes to you and wants you to make their wedding cake, uh, or if you're a photographer and someone comes to you and wants you to shoot their uh, wedding, if this violates your moral conscience, you can't do this because it violates your moral conscience you should, have the be, you should have the right to be protected so you don't have to shut down your business in order to not violate your moral conscience because that takes you out of the realm of commerce. You have a license, whatever. You shouldn't have to sacrifice either your moral conscience or your right to engage in commerce because there are a lot of other bakers, there's a lot of other photographers. You shouldn't have to give that up. This bill said nothing about the gay community. It said nothing about Christianity. It was only about protecting, and it, and it was virtually word for word for the federal bill that passed in 93. It was the almost identical bill in Arizona. That's why this is a big deal. It's not anti-gay. It's not anti-anybody. It is pro-free speech and religious expression. That's what it's about, and that's what I'm for.